Hello everyone. This video is about stock exchanges. Stock exchange is also known as a secondary market. A secondary market is a marketplace where already issued securities, both shares and debt securities, can be bought and sold by the investors. So, it is a market where investors buy securities from the investors and not from the issuing company. Here, the stock exchanges are also called as secondary market. We have already studied about primary market. Primary market is also known as new issue market. New issue market is a market where only new securities are traded. The companies are directly selling the new securities to their investors. Here, once the investor buys security from the new issue market, they can sell it to some other investors in the secondary market. Therefore, under new issue market or primary market, securities are directly traded from the company to the investors. Under secondary market, the actual trading takes place between the investors. When a company issues its security for the first time, it does in the primary market. After the IPO, that is initial public offering, those securities get available for trade in the secondary market. Investors in the stock exchange There are three types of investors who can be found in the stock exchanges. They are retail investors, institutional investors, foreign institutional investors. Retail investors The individual investors are persons who buy and sell securities for the personal account and not for the not another company or organization. They are known as individual investors or small investors. If we buy securities in the secondary market, we become retail investors because we are individuals and we are not buying securities on behalf of someone else. So individuals who buy securities in the secondary market are called retail investors. Institutional investors. Institutional investors are mutual funds, unit trust, insurance companies, banks and other large institutions which invest their members money in shares and bonds. They have professional analysts and advisors who can usually analyze the stock market trends much better than individual investors. Here under institutional investors we find these mutual fund insurance companies and banks and other institutions who are investing money of their clients. They are not buying securities for themselves. On, instead, they are investing the money of their clients. In case of mutual fund, they are representing their unit holders. They are called institutional investors. They usually involve, they usually have financial analysts who study the market and then invest the money into different securities. Therefore, we can say it is more expert it is more better option which is available for investors that is institutional investors foreign institutional investors foreign institutional investors are venture capital funds pension funds hedge funds mutual funds and other institutions registered outside the country of the financial market in which they take investment exposure Foreign institutional investors are allowed to invest in primary and secondary capital markets in India through the portfolio investment schemes. Under this, foreign institutional investors can acquire shares or debentures of Indian companies through stock exchanges in India. They have to be registered with Securities and Exchange Board of India. Foreign, ex foreign institutional investors are the foreign institutions usually these venture capital funds pension funds hedge funds who are registered themselves outside the outside india who want to invest in india are called foreign institutional investors they have to be registered with securities and exchange board of india in order to invest their money into indian market these are the three types of investors who can be found in secondary market that is retail investors that is individual investors Institutional investors, the companies like mutual funds, insurance company or banks, 
then foreign institutional investors the companies which are registered outside india who are willing to invest in our country are called foreign institutional investors these are the three types of investors who can be found in stock market stock exchange next is <coughs> functions of a stock exchange the main functions of stock exchanges are described below first one maintain active trading shares are traded on stock exchanges enabling investors to buy and sell securities the prices may vary from transaction to transaction a continuous trading increases the liquidity and marketability of shares traded on the stock exchanges here stock exchanges provide the continuous trading facility for the securities of the different companies since it provides continuous trading facility the securities will get liquidity and marketability here liquidity means the easy convertibility into cash without wasting time and value this is very essential for every security which can be gained by the securities with the help of this stock exchanges which provide continuous trading facility to the companies second one help fix share prices prices are determined by the transaction that flow from investors demand and suppliers preferences usually traded prices are made known to the public this helps investors to make wise decisions here since the stock market provide continuous trading facility it helps the company to fix their share prices based on the demand and supply forces for their security here the fixed prices are made known to the public which helps them to take the wise decision third one ensure safe fair fair dealing the rules and regulations the bylaws of the stock exchanges provide measures of safety to the investors transaction investors transaction conducted under companies conditions ensure that investors get a fair deal here securities and exchange board of india is there to govern the activities of stock exchanges therefore they make sure that the activities are taking place in a right way therefore it provides safety and fair dealing to the activities that is taking place in the stock exchanges aid in financing the industry a continuous market for shares provide a favorable climate for raising capital the negotiability the transferability of the security help the companies to raise long term funds when it is easy to trade the securities investors are willing to subscribe to the initial public offering this stimulates capital formation here this stock exchanges helps the companies in financing their industry here the companies can raise funds in two ways that is either by borrowing loan from the banks or by issuing securities to the public in stock exchanges here the stock exchanges provide a continuous trading facility by which the securities can gain liquidity which attracts more better performances so here under this stock exchanges a company can raise long term funds it leads to capital formation in the economy the fifth one this dissemination of information stock exchanges provide information through their various publications they publish the share prices traded on a daily basis along with the volume traded the discretionary of corporate information is useful for investors assessment of corporation handouts handbooks and pamphlets provide information regarding the functioning of the stock exchanges here the stock exchanges provide information regarding every activities that is taking place in taking place through this handbooks handouts and pamphlets they are also they also use different uh, channels maybe the tv channels to provide information regarding the daily security prices as well as the volume traded in the stock exchanges it helps the investor to get clear information about all the activities taking place in the stock exchanges sixth one act as a performance inducers the prices of 
stocks reflect the performance of the traded companies this makes corporate concerned with their public image and encourage them to maintain superior performances the securities of the better performing company always have higher prices therefore this prices act as a performance inducer for companies all the companies try to maintain better prices that is by maintaining better performance therefore it helps the company to gain a better image therefore we can say this stock exchanges always act as a performance inducer for companies seventh one facilitates self regulation stock exchanges monitors the integrity of the members brokers listed companies and clients continuous internal audit safeguards the investors against unfair trade practices the arbitration committee of the stock exchanges helps the, helps to se- helps to settle disputes between a client or and a broker or disputes among the broker here securities and exchange board of india is there to regulate the activities of this stock exchanges they always make sure that the members brokers listed companies are maintaining integrity they are also making sure that the in- continuous internal audit is taking place in the stock exchange a- and the arbitration committee always helps to settle the dispute that may arise between the clients and the brokers or between the brokers these are the different functions which is taking place in the stock exchange they are maintaining active trading providing the continuous trading plat- platform for the securities helps to fix the share prices security prices can be fixed on the basis of the demand and supply forces ensure safe and fair dealing since securities and exchange board of india is there to regulate the activities all the activities can be considered as safe and fair in stock exchanges aid in financing the industry the industry can raise long term funds under stock exchanges disseminate information they provide continuous information regarding the activities taking place in the stock exchanges act as a performance inducers it induces the company to improve their performance and facilitate self regulation make sure that the activities are taking place in the stock exchange in a well manner thank you